This video is a recreation of a smoke-filled room experiment conducted by Latane and Darling, recreated by the students in Ms. Holbrook's B5 psychology class. The aim of this experiment is to investigate the bystander effect in emergency situations. The bystander effect is when individuals are less likely to offer help to a victim when other people are present. There are two conditions present in the experiment. Condition 1 involves one participant who was asked to sit in a room and do work. While doing this, the room was filled with smoke. As you can see, the participant immediately took action after noticing the smoke through the door. The second condition involved a group of confederates and one participant, who were asked to sit in the room and while doing so the room would be filled with smoke. The confederates were asked to either not respond or respond don't know to the participants concerns. Here you can see the participant looking for another individual to react to the smoke. She then continues to do her work. 20 minutes later. After some time, the participant finally decides to leave the room even though the others still had no reaction. Condition 1 proves that when participants are alone, they are more likely to ask for help quickly. Condition 2 proved that being in a group has a major effect on the participant's reaction and caused them to take more time to notify someone about the smoke. Rather than leaving immediately, they conform to the norms of the group. Some strengths of the experiment is that it allows for precise control of variables. It is also easy to replicate and can establish a cause and effect relationship. However, the experiment can't be generalized to a whole population as it was performed in a controlled setting. And also, the participants were deceived and put under stress, which is unethical.